Hey guys, it's BTB uh, back with some more SPL narrations for you guys and today I'm going to be facing um, e EO, um, his name is and uh, this for EO is currently 2-0 and, oh, and I'm currently 2-1 so yeah, this is going to be an interesting game for sure so when I was initially building for EO I realized that he uses a lot of fat and bulky teams uh, so I wanted to build, uh, build something that beats his usual fat and bulky teams and I had a team which would re match up really well versus him but then one hour before the game I decided that uh, I wouldn't use the team for some reason so I decided to use some weird offense kind of team so my team is basically um, Kartana with Grassy MZ, Knockoff, Defog and Sword Stance um, yeah, the Kartana can't even touch the Heatran, so that's like an awful set, I guess. Um, Band Titar, Defensive Lando, AV Majorna, Megazam, and Keldeo. Um, my only two breakers are Kartana, which can't, which doesn't have a fighting type move, and a Band Titar, uh, which is like not so good uh, against someone who who likes bulkier types of builds. But yeah, that's my team. So. Uh, on the opposing team, uh, I see EO. He has like uh, this chef build, so that's interesting, I guess. So he has a Chansey, a Tran, a Lando. Um, so when I look at his team, I assume uh, the Lando would be Scarf and the Tran would be Rocks, or the Chansey would be Rocks with uh, the Tran having four moves like Magma Storm and etc. etc. So he leads with Majorna and I lead with Keldeo, so obviously I'm not going to stay in because Floor Cannon for him is flee free right here. So uh, I'm, pr I'm sure that this is, an a this is a shift gear Majorna which just 6 0s my team if my Majorna goes low. So I have to keep the Majorna healthy, which is, which is, which is an important thing. Um, but as you guys can see later on that I kind of misplay. But yeah, so he leads with Majorna and I have Keldeo on the battlefield, so I have to switch out here and... Uh, uh, I go into Majorna because Majorna is the only thing that checks the opposing Majorna on my team, and he makes a he makes a really solid double into Heatran because there's no way I'm going to stay in with my Keldeo because he could just floor cannon or he's going to either floor cannon or wall switch and either way I have, I get no damage on the Majorna so yeah. So here um, he's in with a Tran um, and I'm in with the Majorna. Uh, here I kind of make a risky play. Here I'm. Yeah, here I can make a, mis a risky play because I think he's gonna either go for the Magma Storm or he's gonna go for the Rocks. So, Magma Storm would do a lot to the Ma Ma Majorna, but I just decided a wall switch. Um, which, uh, I mainly did this to find out what the item on the Heatran was. And, um, I didn't think he would tag there because if he had Rocks, uh, he would go for the Rocks most probably. But, uh, on the hindsight uh, right now, I think. Um, that was probably a misplay. I should have just hard killed you or Titar, but it worked out, so it's whatever. So yeah. Now here, um, here I want to bring out something that can abuse uh, Heatran staying in. I don't want to uh, like that. Just did sixteen percent, so I know that this is not special, especially defense max speed. Like, probably like max, max HP by the damage. So I think it's like. Max speed and max uh, uh, hedge special attack or something like that. So I want to bring in something that abuses the heatran. I can't. I'm going to get up my. Uh, his heatran is probably Z move. I'm. I assume it's Z move at this point. Um, because I haven't. Because I don't know his set. So, um, I don't know what to go out right now into. But I, so I decided just to go into Keldeo. But Keldeo is actually. Keldeo is actually useless for this team because he has a Mega Latios and he has a Majorna and he has a Chansey and his Latios is always such a free switch in. Um, but yeah. So here I just go for the sa safe secret sword and I get a crit which is like nice I guess but uh, yeah. Uh, I could have doubled into my T-Tar but it's obvious that it's a Mega Latios and then it would be a 50-50 between a uh, Crunch and Pursuit and I could uh, like crunch and get rid of the Megalatios, but then I would have to take rocks damage and EQ damage and Tyranitar would be low as fuck. So like... Um, uh, and it can't trap the Chansey anymore, so that was my slight th thought process over there. 
and, and now here I stay in and click secret sword because I anticipate I, I don't anticipate him to go for the roost here I anticipate him to go for the direct EQ predicting my TTAR switch so I stay in and click secret sword here um, and yeah I, ca I catch him once on the secret sword and now I think now I'm predicting him to roost but he makes a really good play and goes for the EQ straight away so that does a lot of damage to my TTAR um, uh, what I should have actually done here was I should have actually went hard into my Alakazam because Zam is uh, useless because look at his fucking team. His team has a Heatran, his team has a Chansey, his team has a Majorna, and basically all these mons. And Zam is Zam is pretty much useless. So I should, what what my play here would have been would be have, would be to go out into the Zam and just take the if he EQs he EQs and yeah Zam is like Zam lives an EQ. So yeah, my play would have been to always go into the Zam, but I kind of predicted like either Roost. Or a Draco to come out because Earthquake doesn't Earthquake didn't knock out my Keldeo from the range, so I was kind of predicting a Draco by um, Roost over there. Um, Roost would be a big choke on his end, um, or maybe a, not a choke. It would be, be a big misplay on his end because then I could trap his Latios because I have the I have this horrible matchup, and I have to go for I have to bank on my opponent playing bad. To win this game, uh, because I really have no shot at winning this game just from team preview. So I'm 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 going for I'm going off on a choke or a bad play. So here I go into Majorna predicting the Draco meteor as it works out perfectly. I calc this uh, damage. Uh, Draco meteor does um, a lot. Draco meteor uh, does like 45, so it would have killed my Titar, and uh, it also covered my play into. Landris, so I decided that Majorna would be the play here for the Draco Meteor, and yeah, but then I make a bad play and I just stay in with the Majorna. Um, here would have been again to go out of the Zam, but um, I can tank the EQ with ease, and it wouldn't have been so bad. But he got the so my Majorna is basically useless now, so. That really sucks because if he didn't get the crit, then I could have saved my Majorna for his own Majorna, and uh, I could have worked out things differently from there. But since he gets the crit, uh, my Majorna is basically useless. But then again, it was my fault to just stay in with the Majorna when my switch in was to Zam. So that's whatever, I guess. And now he goes into Kayub, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna just click uh, the Z move if he has it, um, or. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm still thinking, because I didn't see the lefties on Tran, I still thought this would be like Elo, uh, Elo K Kayub and it would be like uh, something along the lines of mm, Z Fire Tran or Z Flash Tran or Z Earth Power Tran or something like that and I thought this would be Elo K Kayurim but um, I realized that my Majorno is basically useless now because it's like, like what 23 from after another turn of rocks and uh, it doesn't even check the measure anymore so yeah I'm gonna just sack it off to an earth fire but instead he reveals his emu and goes for the sub-zero slammer which is like uh, the display on his, his part because he doesn't want to fusion board into my landris and then uh, have me stall out a few turns and stuff this is like fine it's like whatever and I just realized, I realized that this Kyurem is going to absolutely demolish me and, um, and at this point I just go into my Keldeo hoping I get a crit the only thing that has potential to kill the uh, Kyurem and I, I, I can damn but uh, if I went out on my Zen, I, then, he was, then he would just switch into his Chansey so that would be really useless for me and uh, the Kayurim, whenever the Kayub comes in, it gets a kill. So that's like really frustrating too. So uh, I went on my Kaudio to like get off a huge hit on Kay on the Kayurim and hoping for a crit so that like if, if I got a crit there, then uh, my chances in the game would have been like pretty high. But uh, yeah, I don't get it. So it's so, like whatever. 
now he goes into the landris uh, and uh, from the damage i'm pretty sure that it's bulky scarf landris and her uh, bulky scarf landris could have uh, hp fire and since he's in the since he's like so far ahead of me i thought if he has a hp fire he's going to just go for it uh, but he just goes for the U-turn. Um, so that I, so I don't know if he actually had the HP fire or not. But the Kyurem gets to come back in, and yeah, it's gonna pretty much get a kill if it. Plays. But um, here I'm not gonna stay in with my Landris because, like, yeah, the game is already over at this point. But I'm still trying to see if Cardhana can pull out a mirac miracle or something uh, like that because uh, Cardhana is like at full and his only. Uh, deck is a Landris, so if I can somehow kill the Landris, then Kartana can still win. So here I hardened my Alakazam because um, I don't expect him to fusion bolt. And yeah, I just click a Zam here. And now my play is to just Psychic without Mega Evolving because I want to keep my Magic card and not take my da uh, not take the uh, Stealth Rock damage the next time I switch out. So yeah. <laughs> I just stay in and click Psychic here, I think. Uh, and yeah, he's thinking about this turn, but his play is... Because he doesn't lose anything from that. And it looks like Shift Gear Mejorna is going to sweep me at this moment, so... What my... So my... Oh, so... He can actually just sack the Kyurem right here and just go out, uh, just go into the measure and sweep my ass. But um, he goes under the Chansey uh, and takes Psychic. He's like whatever because I think I think he could have sacked the Kyurem right there and just won from that place. But uh, anyways, he just goes under the Chansey. I I, cl I click Psychic again because I expect him to uh, switch out into the Kyurem. Uh, by predicting my double into like Landris or something, so that's like a that's like a whatever play. Um, but now I know for sure he's gonna switch out, and I click Psychic again because my my switch out into Landris is like so obvious. Uh, so I just stay in and click uh, Psychic, but it doesn't even matter because this is Shift Gear Measure, and I like I knew from Team Preview that this is gonna sweep my ass if I uh, let my Measure now get low. But like whatever, so I just Mega Evolve and hope, try to get some good chunk of damage but then yeah the game is pretty much over because he shift gears and yeah that's a that's a sweep uh he's gonna ice beam ice beam ice beam and yeah that's pretty much game uh, so yeah i didn't play this game really well um i think there were like um three there were like a few like one or two misplays i made but the matchup was so against me that i couldn't have really done anything to like win the game um my other team would have done like really 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 well but uh but yeah it's like whatever so yeah this is this is a measure now which is gonna just sweep me i'm like yeah fuck this uh i hope going into the carton i'm hoping he'll choke and switch out and yeah that's game so yeah that's that's pretty much it. that's pretty much it uh which sucks i'm like 2-2 right now uh, which is whatever. I'll try to bounce back again. Uh, but, but yeah. So. Um, yeah. Uh, like Sun Moon, Sun Moon OU is like a really matchup based here. And when you get the matchup right, uh, you just win. And when you get the matchup wrong, you just lose. Uh, but that's not entirely true. Because even in a bad matchup, you can always outplay. Uh, because if you go back to my game in P2, it was my own fault that I didn't know his team was an RMT. So if I knew his team was an RMT, then um, what I could have probably done was like um, go out into the banned T tar on the po tar on the poison Zygarde, which is a 10% uh, force to 50/50 and all that stuff. But uh, the game against EO was pre pretty much so. Uh, uh, my misplays in the game were uh, not go going, and instead going hard uh, T tar on the la mega latch, uh, which was pretty bad because t I needed T tar healthy, and then you know, let it take a crit EQ. Uh, the crits are but uh, matter because 
I think he would have won the game anyways. So, like, whatever. So, it's cool. And, yeah. I'll see you guys with some more SPL narrative. So, peace out, guys.